Hey guys, so I told you that I'd give you an update once I found out what the deal is with this floppy loader bucket on this tractor. So let me pull it out here and I'll kind of show you, you know, what I have discovered and pretty much the results of my conversation with the service manager. You hear that noise? That's sucking in air. Can you hear that? Hear that? So I don't know if uh, that sound of air in the system was audible right there. But uh, just to recap, the, uh, the issue that I was having was that the uh, bucket on the loader is kind of floppy. So let's say I'm gonna back drag some material and you know, I go to put the bucket down. See how, look at that, the bucket just absolutely will not hold position. So the edge that you want, you have to, once the bucket makes contact with the ground, you gotta, you gotta use the controls to, to readjust it again. It's just uh, really frustrating. And so I went to, was going to go to the dealership. I decided to call them first and talk to the service manager. Uh, I mean, you can see how much flop there is in the bucket there. But uh, anyway, I decided to call them and talk to the service manager before I went through the hassle of loading this up on a trailer and hauling it down there. And uh, let me bring the camera over here closer so I can kind of explain to you what he explained to me. So basically what he was saying was that, you know, these, these compact tractor buckets have a lot of range. I mean, the way they design the loaders on these things, they have a whole lot of range of motion. And so these pistons here that control your, your curl and dump function, you know, they, they almost have too much travel, to be honest. And the hydraulic capacity on these compact tractors is a little bit, you know, underwhelming sometimes. And so it's pretty easy to get air in these cylinders. Um, now, especially if you, you know, dump it all the way down and curl it all the way back, you have to imagine that that piston, you know, it's traveling up and down the cylinder here. So if you take it all the way, then you're uh, introducing a possibility of getting a little bit of air in there as well. So after I talked to him for a while, you know, he basically gave me the impression that this is sort of what you would consider to be a less than ideal, but still normal situation. You know, he, he agreed with me that it's a real pain. He said he's had a lot of people that have complained about it and they've tried to work on a lot of these things and see if they can rectify the issue. Uh, but unfortunately, it's just one of those things that's sort of normal, even though it shouldn't be. And there's not really a lot they can do for it. So he gave me a suggestion and I tried it and it does seem to work. You know, when you get on the tractor and you're getting ready to use it, raise the boom all the way up, okay, as far as it'll go up, and then work the bucket controls. And that will push all the air downstream into the reservoir, the hydraulic fluid reservoir. And I tried that and it does work pretty well. And then after that, a lot of the flop was gone. It still has a little bit of flop, but a whole lot of that motion in the bucket was gone after that because it basically purges the air from the hydraulic lines and like I said, pushes it back down into the tank. So it's not an, uh, an ideal fix. You know, I was kind of hoping for a little bit more from them, but it's just kind of the way it is. Now, some of the people that uh, watched the last video left some comments and said that you can go in here and you can put some valves in line, um, you know, and that seems to work pretty well. 
you know, if you've got access to some parts and you're somewhat mechanically inclined, you can go in there and, you know, put your some, uh, some valves in the proper lines and kind of alleviate that issue. It basically prevents the air from getting in there to begin with and rectifies that problem. Uh, but that's kind of where we're at with this thing. It's not just a New Holland problem. He said he's seen it with other brands as well. Um, so it's, again, it's not really a, a design defect. It's just an unfortunate thing that you're going to see on a lot of these compact tractors. And in fact, the last video that I posted, uh, there were some comments from guys who had other brands of tractors and they've said they've had this, just, this excuse me, this issue uh, on their tractor. Uh, one guy had a Kubota and he said, yeah, I've been fighting with that since I got my tractor too. So anyway, that's kind of where we're going to, we're going to be on this. There's not a lot that I can do. So there's not really any sense in loading this up and taking it to the dealership. When I need to do that kind of a function with the loader where I'm back dragging material, I'll just do that little trick that he showed me real quick where I raise the boom up and operate the bucket and purge the air out of the system. And also when I'm operating the bucket, I try not to uh, go full range of motion. You know, I'm trying to kind of keep the plunger on the, on the piston, like in the middle of the cylinder here, um, instead of taking it all the way up to where the fittings are. Um, so by reducing some of the range of, range of motion, it seems to help the problem a little bit also. Um, but yeah, I mean, it's unfortunate, but that's kind of where it's at. Um, you could hear, I think in the video, the air that's in the system. When I first start this thing up, it's naturally, you know, flowing hydraulic fluid and it's kind of trying to purge some of that air on its own. Um, I did put, by the way, I put two brand new filters on this. You remember it was doing this when I got the tractor. I took both of the hydraulic filters off, put new filters on there, made sure they were super tight, checked the fluid reservoir. So all of that's been done. You know, it's nothing that uh, can be corrected through maintenance. It's just, it gets air in the system and it makes that whining noise until it purges the air out. The rest of the day, it won't do that. But every morning on a cold start, it makes that whining noise because of the air in the system. So I'm pretty confident that that's the problem. There's air getting in the hydraulic system causing this floppiness. But other than putting a valve in line there, not really a lot to be done. So maybe this winter when there's some downtime, I might tackle that project, you know, we'll see. But for now, it's just kind of, it is what it is. You know, like I said, I'm just trying to do some things that might be helpful. And, you know, it's fun just to talk about trucks and tractors sometimes too. So join the conversation, guys. Put some comments below. Let us know if you've got this issue. I'm really interested to hear if you've got like a John Deere, Kubota, Massey Ferguson, some other brand, and you've got this same issue. I'd like to hear it. Um, so leave a comment. As always, thanks, and we'll talk to you later.